I remember it was a Father's Day, and he promised we would spend it together as a family. Instead, he came home late that night drunk, and I remember the disappointment. Usually when he wouldn't come home, I would just clean the bathroom. At almost 2 a.m., that's where he found me, with a bottle of bleach scrubbing the wall. He comes from behind smelling like alcohol, sliding his hand under my pajamas, and he whispers in my ear, Happy Father's Day to me, motherfucker. I pull his hand out, and I tell him, No, you went too damn far this time. I'm tired. Next thing I know, I feel his hand taking a grip of my hair behind my head, shoving me against the wall. At this point, my heart is beating so fast, I can't hear him yelling. I try to get away, but I'm pinned in the corner with both of his hands around my neck. It's getting so tight, I feel my body losing its strength. But at that same moment, that moment, I'm about to give up. I hear that little voice yelling, stop it. He finally lets go. And he looks back at my five-year-old at the time. Her tears are overflowing. She's scared, not knowing what to do. He goes up to her and says, It's okay, baby. Go back to sleep. I go running and pick her up and run to her room where her two-year-old sister was sound asleep. I lock the door behind me. As soon as I lock the door, I whisper and tell my daughter to hide in the closet. I dial 911 and I try to explain to them that my boyfriend wanted to kill me. They try to get my address, but at that same moment, he finds out that I'm talking on the phone. He starts screaming and pounding on the door, telling me to open the door. He follows, he follows by saying, sorry, It won't happen again. He gets desperate and says, if you're calling the cops, I'm going to kill you. At this point, I just wanted this nightmare to be over. My two-year-old at the time wakes up afraid, and I'm holding her in my arms. Police are knocking on the door. After this night, I decided I would have to start all over. Not only a blank canvas, I would have to build a canvas bright enough not only for myself, but for my daughters. This being said, you still have a chance to live. You are still alive. You only have one life. Take that chance. Leave. Start a new canvas. Find your happiness. Look for help. I just got to say, guys, I'm serious. You all need to start all over. Don't let anyone, nobody, treat you wrong either verbally or physically it's not right don't let anybody step all over you because you're worth more than that believe in yourself because I believe in you